Hi guys, welcome to Nana's Corner. My channel is all about learning to DIY, craft, and cook without spending a lot of money. If that's what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe and then click on the bell when it appears so you won't miss when I upload something new. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know you'd like to see more. Hi guys, today I'm making some color sprays for a project that I'm going to do and I thought I'd come on and show you some ways of several ways of that you can make these um, for pretty inexpensive much cheaper than what you can buy them in the store for so what you'll need is some small spray bottles I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby they were like I want to say two three dollars for a three pack so that's about a dollar a bottle you can also get them in Dollar Tree uh, Walmart a lot of different stores sell them they're uh, about I don't know about three ounces maybe and you, what you want to do well before I do that you you also need some alcohol some water doesn't have to be bottled water but I have it here for video purposes then there's three ways that I'm going to show you how you can do it. You can use um, acrylic paints. And this one here I'm going to use, it's a green pearl. Or you can use regular food coloring that you use in the kitchen. Or if you happen to have some India inks, these like make very nice colors. And these are Bombay, I'm going to use yellow and red. And you can get those on Amazon. Let's get started. What you're going to do is take your bottle, take the sprayer out. Um, you, what you're going to do is you want the the little suction, the tube. You don't want it touching the bottom. So if yours is touching when the top is all the way on, then you're going to want to trim that up. Okay, you don't want it because once you put, if you're using the paint, the paint and it settles after a while, you don't want your tube to be sitting in it. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut at an angle. Just cut it off. Check it again. Make sure that it's not touching the bottom. Once that's good, once you have your bottom cleared, what you're going to do is you're going to add do about that much alcohol, I mean water, and now we'll add the alcohol. What the water does is it dilutes either the paint or whatever the ink, whatever you're using as your coloring, and the alcohol helps it to dry faster. Now. If you don't aren't worried about it drying fast, then you can leave the alcohol out. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing just straight alcohol because the alcohol does not seem to um, dilute the paint as well and it can clog your tube, your sprayer a whole lot faster. So let's just mix that up a little bit. And the first one I'm going to do is the paint. And the, as for the coloring or how much you put in, that's totally up to you. You can add, uh, shake it up, see if you like it. And you can always add more, but it's kind of hard to take away. So you see the paint takes a little bit to dissolve. Get it sure that it's all mixed up in there. And you can really see that shimmer. Can you see that? I don't know the lighting. Oh, there we go. You can really see that shimmer in there. I wouldn't recommend the glitter ones. I mean, you can try it if your tube is a bigger tube. But I would think that after a little bit, the glitter would get stuck in the tube and start clogging it up. 
okay and then you would just mark it like I've done my other ones that I've done with just put a sticker or you can write on the bottle if you don't plan to use the re the bottle so you know what color you have okay now uh, let's see what this spray is like. We'll try it out. You can use these for many different things. Let's see. Let's see, it gives it a, a real light green. So I might go ahead. Can you see that? I don't know. My lighting is not very good today, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more color. Now if that's fine for you, if you're going for just a subtle light green, that's good, but I think I want a little bit more. Put a little bit more in there. Not too much. I like my colors uh, to be a little bit faded, more of a vintage color. So that's what I'm trying to get. I want it to show up. But I don't want it to be overpowering either. Okay, so let's do another one. This time we'll do the food color. You can make the colors. You know, you may not be able to find the color that you want in the store, and you can mix and match the project that you're using them on. I find this not only is it economical, but it really helps your project. And with each coloring that you use you're gonna have to adjust because of course food coloring you're probably gonna need a whole lot more for it for it to show it'll be much lighter than if you use the paint but use what you have on hand and just play around and see what you get and now for the last one that I'm gonna show you to use and it's basically the same process it's just So there you go, that's how you make your color spray. And I just wanted to show you some of the different things you can do it on. And you get a nice even coat. I mean, if you spray it, you're not getting like, um, you're getting a tint of color, not like if you were to paint color on. I like to do ribbons. If you don't have the color ribbon, you can go ahead and go buy just a, a spool of white or off-white color ribbon and then take your sprays for whatever color that you need for your project and another thing uh, for mixed media that I like to use sometimes is cheesecloth I'm going to dry these and then I'm going to come back to show you what they look like. Okay, so I have dried them up. I just used my um, heat gun. You can use a blow dryer or you can just let them dry on their own. But they dried very, very fast. I wanted to show you. I just lined them up. This was, to recap, this was the acrylic glimmer mixed with half water, half alcohol. And I wanted you to take notice that the color that you see in your bottle 
is going to be darker than what is actually going to show up when you spray it. Okay, this was the ribbon. And then this we sprayed both colors, the green and the uh, orange food coloring, but it came and it gave it like a nice aged look. Okay, this was the India ink. And this one you can really see the difference. It's darker than when you spray it on your piece. And then on the ribbon, and see how you can coordinate your colors in a project. You got paper, you got ribbon, you've got cheesecloth. You can spray this on texture. It's anything that will take color, basically, you can use this on. And then this was the food coloring, 10 drops of red. 10 drops of yellow with half water and half alcohol and it's much darker if you can see how dark it is in the bottle compared to when it sprays so keep that in mind when you're trying to match up a color and then you have the coordinating ribbon and the cheesecloth well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give it a try let me know down in the comments um, if you liked it, if you think you'll use it, um, and what you'll be using it on. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know I have some ideas for a lot more um, videos on creating craft supplies. And let me know if you like it, if you want more. Craft supplies can get expensive. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and then click the bell when you're, it pops up so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And share, share with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. Help me grow my channel. Um, I love to share my ideas and ways to be able to craft and cook and do all kinds of fun stuff on a budget. Okay guys, have fun, have a blessed day.